Denver 8 TV, your city, your source. We often think of arts and culture as just our large museums and our symphonies and our operas, but really they are much more embedded in the fabric of our community. When you think about places like Welton Street or Tennyson Street or Santa Fe Arts District, these are all um, communities that really have a strong arts and cultural focus when you look at the corridors. So we really think that by strengthening creative businesses, in many ways we're strengthening neighborhoods. Through the Create Denver Revolving Loan Program and things like that, we're supporting creative businesses so that um, people who are entrepreneurial have a resource to come to the city of Denver and really grow their business. So we're helping residents in that way as well. We opened Fancy Tiger in 2006 and it started as a DIY or do-it-yourself store with um, craft supplies and clothing for men and women. And then um, in early 2008 we expanded, so now we have two stores, one Fancy Tiger Crafts, which is yarn and fabric, and one that is Fancy Tiger Clothing right across the street. When we first opened, we wanted to start producing some of our own clothing. We wanted to start doing some screen printing. And we looked to Create Denver uh, at that point to help us grow on a production level. We originally approached a bank which told us that we probably would not qualify and we were recommended to create Denver's revolving loan fund um, which uh, was a perfect fit for us. I think we were wanting to work with someone who not only was interested in providing capital but who understood our vision for not only the businesses but for the community as well. Create Denver has uh, several different programs that are really intended to help grow the creative sector and support creative entrepreneurs. We um, look at creative space as a, a policy issue within the city of Denver, so we look at zoning code and how that impacts um, space for theater companies, for artists, for studios and galleries to really thrive in the city of Denver. We also offer a loan program to help finance small creative businesses so that they can um, impact the neighborhood that they're in, but also really grow as a viable business within the city. We have our Creative Space Agent website, which um, helps people find space in the city and county of Denver, so they can create, perform, do all the things that they do best. We also do technical assistance programs. Sp specifically, we have um, the Create Denver Expo, which is a day-long program to really help people understand um, how to run their business, the business of art, not just the art itself, so that we help them with marketing plans, business plans, social media, all those tools to really help them grow their business. And then throughout the year we do other things like we have a Denver Gallery Guide to help visitors find our um, wonderful galleries in the city of Denver. Walker Fine Art is a contemporary art gallery. We're located in the Golden Triangle Museum District, four blocks from the Denver Art Museum. We represent regional and national artists uh, emerging and mid-career who do work in uh, experimental photography, mixed media, sculpture, and installation. Our artist stable was the strongest it had ever been, but we were facing cash flow restrictions that were preventing us to put adequate money into marketing dollar. Uh, with the loan from the Create Denver Revolving Loan Program, we were able to continue our existing marketing program and implement new marketing strategies. We define the creative sector pretty broadly. It includes art galleries, art districts, music, film, uh, fashion, graphic design. Um, all of those are, are considered creative industries in our book. And when you do the math, um, we actually have 2,400 creative industries in the city and county of Denver. And those industries employ about 9,000 people. So it really is a significant part of our uh, business economy and one that um, continues to grow. Gibberish is a, a lifestyle clothing brand. We're a cut and sew clothing company. And we started initially sort of in the snow sports realm. Uh, that's what we're rooted in. And we started with you know, 12 sweatshirts and 12 t-shirts about five years ago. You know, our stuff's in 16 countries and uh, we're opening our first flagship store here in Denver. Create Denver helped us with their loan program, the Revolving Loan Fund. Uh, we used the loan that we received from them, put it into our manufacturing, um, which helped us produce our clothing. And that's kind of uh, pushed the ball forward, which allowed us to move into the shop that we're in and just overall kind of continue our business uh, from year to year. Create Denver has just opened, um, you know, beyond the initial uh, loan that we secured from them, they've just opened a lot of doors for us. They've, they've you know, really looked out for us in, in promoting us in Denver. We've done the same for them, which is, has been just a great symbiotic relationship. We've, we've really fed off of each other. They're great people to work with, and, um, you know, I can't 
be excited enough about the, the opportunities that um, both of us have kind of uh, gained from the relationship. The website is the best way to get more information about Create Denver, and you can go to www.denvergov.org slash Create Denver, and there you'll find information on the Revolving Loan Program. You can download the gallery guide, and you can certainly learn more about everything that we're doing. In fact, we put out a bulletin every Friday, so if you're interested in signing up for our bulletin, you can do so at that website. <music> So in order to be successful, any advice I would give to someone in a creative field is that you, you got to have a, a vision, a dream, the things that you want to do and you got to stick to it and you're going to get kicked and you're going to get knocked down and it's how you respond to that that's going to define you. And if you can continue to push forward and, and believe in what you're doing, surround yourself by the right people, um, you really can, uh, you can really accomplish what you want. I would say don't give up, depending on what you're doing, potentially a lot of hard work. So uh, listen to people that are giving you good and sound advice and follow your dreams and Whatever your vision is in that creative field or that industry, articulate what it is to yourself and don't give up. Take advantage of all the programming that the Denver Office of Cultural Affairs offers to you. Uh, they have a weekly newsletter that announces seminars, creative spaces that are available. They do an annual art business expo uh, with classes on business plans. Um, Visit Denver does a Denver Art Week every year that allows publicity and marketing. The programming's out there, you just have to go find it. I think that Create Denver is a great resource for our community and it's really great for non-traditional businesses um, and it really helped us out so we're glad that it's there. Denver 8 TV, your city, your source.